The challenge for sustainability in corporates is to move it from being an add-on to strategy, a sort of an addendum to the core of the business, to being at the very heart of strategy of the business. So, for example, in my personal case in, in the energy industry, this is how do you put sustainability at the heart of the energy system of the future. And, and that takes real hard work and effort to fully understand what does sustainability mean in your particular company and then implementing the strategies and the policies that make that actually happen. So for carbon intensive industries, the, the, there are some real fundamental challenges. Ultimately, corporations are owned by their shareholders who expect financial returns. How do you manage that pathway that creates whether it's you know, offshore wind or it's solar power, it's hydrogen or it's carbon capture and storage, nature-based solutions, biofuels. How do you create the pathways that are profitable and at the same time making the migration away from fossil fuels towards the new energy system? The key things here for me are to work with the full range of your stakeholders. Most important of all, I think, here is making sure your, your shareholders stay with you, that you, you've got a clear strategy for them to, to stay with you. I think governments play an absolutely vital role in having the policy prescriptions that make electric vehicles profitable or make hydrogen profitable or make carbon capture and storage profitable. But then also you've got to keep your staff on side, you've got to keep your customers on side, you've got to keep your partners and supply chain on side. So it, it, it's understanding your full footprint in the world and managing all of those stakeholders to deliver uh, the outcomes that they all want. I think the executive skills that are needed are almost diplomatic skills because you've got this array of stakeholders that are absolutely fundamental to making the energy transition happen, which, for example, governments, uh, your supply chain, your customers, uh, your staff. Uh, how do you listen very carefully to what are the real deep-seated concerns and challenges with those stakeholder groups and then try and craft your own strategy such that yes, you're achieving what a company must achieve, delivery of value to shareholders, and at the same time, what the world wants, a, a pathway to net zero by, by 2050. And all of these different stakeholders have different roles to play. Staff, you expect them to be fully sort of engaged in the development of new solutions, that sort of getting behind what the company strategy is. For governments, for example, you have a completely different conversation, which is, you know, please will you put the policies in place? And then for your customers, it's how can we help you as, as a customer who today is using hydrocarbons to make the migration from 100% hydrocarbons today to uh, a net zero position by uh, 2050. So, so they, it's, a, it's the diplomatic skill of having those separate and different conversations, but crucially, there has to be an arc of a consistency across them all. You can't say to governments, I'll tell you what, give me the policy and, and we'll be fine. Uh, but, but then have a completely different and almost alternative conversation with your customers. You need to have a, a consistent narrative across the whole corporation.